compost. This is where we put like our leaves, um, our uh, vegetable scraps, whatever the dogs don't beg me for. They love cucumbers and stuff. Oh look, we got a ladybug. So cute. But anyway, this compost um, is still in work. Uh, I need to stir it up, obviously. I stirred it up the other day. We've added stuff to it since then. We only put vegetable matter in there. Nothing that has any grease, uh, any type of animal products. Uh, the only exception is eggshells. We rinse them out. We crush them up. They're real good for the tomatoes. Uh, we'll probably sprinkle some in the tomato beds eventually. But that's our one composter. And then, I learned this little trick. <laughs> These, I guess we'll call them uh, turd bags. <laughs> Big John Lipscomb gave me this idea. Uh, there is, you know, all that grass that we took out of the beds. You know, all of our lovely beds had grass in them. So, what we did was we took that out and we had put it in a pile. And uh, it was kind of breaking down a little bit. But what uh, Big John Lipscomb said was to put um, your clippings or whatever you're composting into a bag. We threw in an orange as well. And I probably have about a gallon of water in each. And they're in nice sunny spots. And in about three weeks, we will have what he terms as a giant turd. <laughs> it's just a, a big, moist piece of compost. Um, so that's what we're doing with those. So that's real exciting. Our dirt pile compost <laughs> is finally getting smaller. Uh, we're saving some for the front yard. But what we've done with the extra that we have, we're putting it in here. Um, that's where we had our grass compost before. We took it all out. Um, we put a tarp on the bottom and a tarp up along the fence and then I've got all that tarp. I'm going to cover it up so we can keep the weeds out of it so we're not growing things in our dirt pile. And we'll use this to continue our transplanting with our seeds and uh, you know wherever we need it. I'm so glad we got a little extra because um, we'll be using it throughout the, the gardening season. So, uh, Compost is your friend. Use it. Don't go buy it. I mean, we bought the soil because we're just starting our beds, but we're hoping with the, the bags and with our composter and, you know, as we grow, we'll have our, our own vegetables uh, that will all grow up big and tall, like our green beans here. Um, but they'll all get recomposted back in. And next year we will probably have to buy soil one more time because we're going to build the boards. But, um, you know, after that we should be able just to continue to compost and keep that soil rich. So we're excited. And we're planning today. Look. We planted onions. And we're planting our herbs. And this is our... It's our squared out uh, herb garden. We got 24 inch squares where we're going to be planting our herbs there. And today I think the green beans are going to go in the ground and we're also going to add some seeds because something's been eating our green beans. Bad, bad animals. Um, but then our squash also, we're going to put that in the ground today. So. Uh, we're excited. We're going to start the direct sowing. If we don't direct sow starting today, we'll probably be doing that tomorrow. It's supposed to get down in the 40s, but it's not supposed to frost anymore, so we're crossing our fingers. <laughs> oh, this has been a long time coming. I can't wait.